Okay, so I'm here. Excuse the close up to my face because it's uh, my phone's on my dashboard. But um, yeah, now the butterflies are kicking in. I'm feeling really nervous. I'm very excited. Like I said, I really don't wear makeup. So I just wonder how this is all going to play out. But yeah, I guess I'll see. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> I'm really excited though. Like you know, uh, we work really hard. We do things constantly for other people. We're just on the go, go, go. And we forget about ourselves sometimes. So I decided I don't do too much girly things for myself. I'm turning 38 years old. Why not? You know, why not? So I was like, let's do something spontaneous, something different. So yeah, I'm excited. All right. I'm about to make sure I'm at the right spot because uh, it's all these little doors and stuff so i have to actually go and look <laughs> all right so i will keep you updated on the healing process hello thank you so much for joining me my name is erica and i am going to take you on my journey of microblading i am very excited i've never done nothing like this i don't even really wear makeup hardly at all so i don't even know why i wanted to do this i wanted to do something different for my birthday i'm turning 38 so I figured, why not do something different? And this is way different. So here are my eyebrows. I mean, they're not the best. So I said, forget, you know, why not? So yeah, I am going to take you on this journey. I'm heading out right now. And yeah, I hope everything turns out because my stomach is turning and I'm nervous. I got to be there in a half hour. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm back with my microbladed eyebrows. <laughs> I'm really excited, you guys. I think they came out really pretty. They're really dark right now, so um, that's, you know, normal. They're going to be dark for the next couple of days, and then she said they're going to start flaking off, and <clears throat> she explained how she wants me to take care of them. I was doing a lot of research online, and I know that there is the dry method, and then there's the wet method. I asked her which one she's going to be having me do. Excuse me, I'm drinking a beer, so I got the oop. <laughs> so, um, she's going to go with the wet method. She doesn't want them scabbing. So, I know some artists out there like it for it to dry up, and they say that it's, the scabs hold the pigment better. But she told me um, she does it a different way. She likes the wet method, and that the pigment is going to be just fine. So, I'm really excited because I am really pale, as you guys can see. But, um... And these are really dark, so they're like standing out like Bert from Sesame Street. But I'm just really loving the shape. And this is my natural shape. All she did was um, fill it in because my eyebrows were so like thin. But she told me I had a good amount of hair on my eyebrows. But I was like, I thought they were pretty bald. So I don't know. She was so sweet. Oh my God. I will put her information down below. And yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to be taking you on this journey of it healing and letting you know <coughs> excuse me on how i guess because everybody's different <clears throat> let me take a sip of this because i am um i'm in the bathroom because my husband and my son are over there talking so i just wanted to find a quiet space and um yeah i'm having a beer celebrating um my early birthday my eyebrows and this is my dad's favorite beer and he passed away and i miss him so i'm gonna embrace him by Cheers, Pops. So, yeah, I'm going to take you guys on this journey. I'm very, very excited. I can't wait to see the full, like, the finish outcome of my eyebrows. I can't wait to see the actual color. So, yeah, I'm just really happy. So, once again, here they are right after. It's been about an hour since I've been home. Um, I wanted to film as soon as I got out, but it was dark. So, I was like, what's the point of that? So, I decided just to do it when I got home. So, yeah. Here you go. I think they're really pretty. I mean, what do you guys think? <laughs> go easy on me in the comments. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. Like I said, I'm going to keep you guys updated. You probably won't see this, obviously, this video until, like, two weeks. I'm thinking. Three weeks? Two weeks? Because I'm going to be filming every day. A little bit of clip here and there. Just of where I'm at. On what stage she also gave me a paper which I should have bring in here but I'll share it with you um, on another recording um, 
it's really cute. There's different stages of like, oh my god, what did I do? Or, wow, they're so dark. Like, what stage is usually what you go through when you get microblading done? And let's talk about the pain real quick before I get off of this. So, the actual pain, I am i don't like pain at all, really. I don't think no one does. Um, So, the pain to me on scale 1 to 10 when she first went over it once, on this side, my right side... It was um scale 1 to 10. I would say it was a 1. It was very light. It was like a little boop. Really light. Uh, like plucking your hairs out is more painful. So on uh, this side was a 2. Because it's lined up with your heart. And it has more nerves. So that's pretty interesting. Um, So this was a little more painful. So once she went on the second round. Because she did it twice. Depending on how much work you need done. Sometimes she said that um you have to go like 3-4 times. Depending on the person and how much they need done. I only need it to, I want it just, I didn't want it too dramatic. I just wanted a very light um, eyebrow staying in my natural look. So the second time I would say this side went up to a two on pain and then this side went up to a three. Um, it was a little more painful on this side, but she kept numbing me throughout the whole thing. So it really wasn't that bad. It was really nice. It was just, and her being so sweet and so kind really helped out. I have to look up her name again because I totally forgot because I'm so excited. And yeah, I just forgot. So in my next video, I will have more information on who she is, where she's located. She's in Eugene in Oregon and the name of her salon and i will put the information down below bye guys see you the next uh day i guess good morning good morning so it's the next day um of my microblading eyebrows and as you can see yes they are very dark <laughs> they look like some chocolate stains on my eyes but um that's normal. Like I said, I was going to show you guys the instructions, which I think are so cute. We have day one. I'm so excited. Yes, I'm still excited. Um, day two and four. Why are my eyebrows so um, dark and thick? So that's where we're at right now. I wouldn't say they're thick. I actually like the shape. So... Um, like I said, she followed my shape. So this is my shape. She just filled it in. Uh, let's see what else. So I guess it's going to last to four days, the darkness. Day 5 and 14. Um, between day and 5 and uh, uh, I can't even talk. 14, they're patchy and flaking. Ah, <laughs> if you see the little picture. So that's there. Oh, no. This is so cute, though. So that's not bad because um, that's what we want so it can lighten up and look more natural because I'm pale as a ghost and we can't be rocking these. And like I said, I never wore makeup before. So it's like, well, I let me rephrase that. I wore makeup once in a while. I like never put foundation on and things like that. I more like put a little eyelash stuff and a little, what is that, mascara sometimes, eyeliner I want to get frisky but I never really liked that because I don't know if I always did it wrong let me know in the comments below um if this happens to everybody but when I put it on I always get the runny black stuff all on my face so like it's not runny but it's like smudgy so I just like mostly skip that even though I like the way it looks and then um let's see between day 26 and day 42 they're back in healing. Oh, wait, no, my bad. I skipped the day. So between day 15 and 25, wait, where'd they go? <laughs> so, and then um, day 26 to 42, they're back in healing. D week 6 and 8, touch up and per um, touch up and perfect, touch up and perfect, trust the process. So hopefully she was explaining to me not everybody needs a touch up. That's just in case like um you want it darker, you want something changed, like if you want to go outside your shape, um if you smudged it too much on one side, you got some smudge stuff going on and it's darker on this side, lighter on that side because you slept on this side look like more. 
So that's what she was explaining to me what the touch up is for. Not everybody needs a touch up and that's what she shoots for. Another thing I like to share is like with all these micro, cause I'm pretty sure that's why you guys crossed my page, um, my video. Um, when I watch micro blade videos, like a thousand of them at the end, they always put the extra pigment on the eyebrow over it. She didn't do that to me. She said that it wasn't really, um, necessary, which was cool. You know, I felt like it might've made it even darker, but she says like, as long as you're putting a pigment in each scratch, like, um, I think that's more like maybe if someone bleeds a lot. That'd be a good move to make. I didn't bleed at all. The reason why I believe I didn't bleed at all is because I skipped coffee in the morning time, which I, whew, I'm about to have another cup right now because I skipped it yesterday and I'm enjoying that bad boy today. But yeah, um, 24 hours, if you could skip coffee, it would definitely help because it thins the blood. So you don't want to be bleeding because what happens is if you bleed, it pushes the pigment out and you're trying to get the pigment in the skin. So it's like um, you're like in the middle of a war as she's trying to do this with your own body. Trying to put the stuff on your eyebrows. So it's better to just follow um, the right procedures. So that way when you go get your eyebrows done, the process is a lot easier. Altogether, it took, I went in there at 2 o'clock. I left at 4.40. 4.30 actually so it wasn't that long at all from her mapping out my eyebrows like the whole mapping um and then her doing the actual process took about about an hour so about an hour and a half it wasn't bad at all I really and she answered all my questions she's just a very sweet lady like I said I should have looked up her name I'm so bad with names um, oh, I should not touch my eyebrow. That's another thing. Um, because there are little scratches and everything, you don't want to touch your eyebrows. Okay? You want to be very, very careful because your hands are dirty. You're touching stuff and then you go and touch your eyebrows and they're like little open cuts. So that's not cool. You want to make sure you're doing the right thing and keeping them clean. She sent me home with my directions. She also sent me home with my ointment. Um, we're doing the wet method. She likes that better than scabbing. She says that I should not be scabbing at all. Um, I will be getting flaky, which is what we want. There's difference from chunky scabs and buildup than flaking. Also, every time I go to put the ointment on, I'm going to wash my eyebrows with the anti, um, bacteria soap that she gave me the little soap it's like a little bottle for me and I just dab my eyebrows a little bit that's wet then I'm gonna wash my eyebrows and then um she says try to use something you're gonna throw out never reuse like a towel or anything like that when you're gonna dry your eyebrows because that's gonna um it can hold in germs so like about um a towel a paper towel I use I just dap, 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 and it wasn't bad at all. So, um, actually, when I go to wash my eyebrows, I'll take you guys with me. I'm going to have another cup of coffee, I think, or actually, let me drink my apple cider vinegar. I'm going to drink that instead. Let's make smart moves because <laughs> that's really, really important. So, yeah, um, I drink my apple cider vinegar with water, which is really good for the energy, and it helps you lose weight and all types of stuff. But that's a whole nother video. I really like that. I'll show you the bottle. As you can see, I'm almost done. This is because I drink it every day. If I can get it in three times a day, I will. But at least once a day. All right. So back to the eyebrows. I will let you guys go. When I'm ready to start washing my eyebrows, I will make another video and show you how I do it. How she explained for me to do it. And like I said, if you're in um, Oregon... If you're in Oregon, Eugene area, Springfield area, I will drop the link below of where she's located and you guys can hit her up. But one more close look. I'm really feeling them. Even though, like I said, they're very dark, but that's normal right now. So I'm going to have to roll with it. <laughs> the healing process is a pain in the ass. Okay, see you guys later. 
Okay, I am back. I am ready to clean my eyebrows. Excuse how close it is because the way I have the camera set up, it's a little weird. So I'm going to have to go, you know. But anyway, this is the soap that they, um, well, Natalie, I checked out her, um, her name. <laughs> I'm so bad with names. But yeah, you can actually see how dark these bad boys are. But I'm really, I like them a lot. I mean, because she just filled them in. My eyebrows had hair, if you guys remember in the beginning of the video, but they weren't as thick as I wanted it. So this is like a very foamy type soap. And then after I have to put this on three to four um, times a day, I am gonna ask her, which I think I already have the answer to my question, but I'm gonna ask. Because see, the thing is you don't want to keep this stuff on. You want to be able to allow air to flow to your um, your skin to allow it to heal, that's very important. So every time I go to reply, uh, reply, every time I reapply the ointment, I believe I should be soaping it up first to get the residue from the other one off, then put the new one on. That's how I'm going to do it. Like I said, I hit her up regardless just to find out. But okay, so I told you guys I'm going to show you really quickly. I'm going to wash my hands with soap and water because she said either use... Um, a cotton ball or a very clean hand because like I said these are open wounds so you don't want to be all up in it you know what I'm saying with dirty hands I'm gonna just dab my eyebrows just a little bit just to wet them I like this is you know we don't want to soak them but I need the soap to be able to I'm going to look over here while I'm doing it. Oh, yeah. That's another thing which I almost did and I caught myself. Don't go against the grain. Just go with the um, hair. Yay. <laughs> like my eyebrows, guys. Oh. All right. So... Yeah, I can feel the actual residue from the other ointment. I mean, from the ointment that I had on. So it's very important that we do this step. So this is what I'll be doing. A fresh paper towel. I don't want to waste all that. Let me put this one in here. And do not scrub. Just... And you can see some of the pigment coming off. I'm just dapping it to dry it up good. So when I shower, what I like to usually do is right after the shower, because my skin is sort of dry, um, I like to right away put olive oil on my face. So for the next week, I cannot do that. She told me I can, but down below, nothing above here, because we don't want nothing seeping into the eyebrow. Okay, very good. Nice and dry, looking good. Still with clean hands. Before I touch anything else, I'm only gonna put a tiny bit, cause like she said, this is gonna be for both eyebrows. I'm gonna try to make it, cause you only want a thin layer. Perfect. And then with this one, since it's already on there. And I can feel it. They feel like um, my eyebrows feel a tiny bit sore. Not bad at all. I thought the process was going to be a lot worse when she was doing it. But I was scared. Like the first slice she did, I just went like this. <laughs> But it wasn't bad at all. It was very like just a doop, doop, doop. Like I said, the second round, it was sore, but not something you can't handle, you know, depending on your pain level. But um, me, it wasn't bad at all. 
All right, I'm going to let you guys go so this video is not like five hours long when you guys, if you guys watch it. And if you do, thank you. I like them. All right, guys. Hello, everybody. So this is day five. I actually skipped the day because they are basically still the same. There's not really new any updates, as you can see. But the only difference today is I'm actually feeling a little bit itchy, which is a good sign. That means it's healing up and we're on the road to what it's supposed to be doing. <laughs> so, yeah, really quickly, they're looking good. I like them a lot. And, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted as the journey continues. Thank you so much for tuning in. Continue watching to see the results. Hey, what's happening? So I figured real quick, um, I'll jump on here. Now my eyebrows are starting to have some action. Oh, it is bright. So I figured this would be good sunlight before I get home. So today's the seventh day and it's my birthday. Whoop, whoop. But um, as you can see, they're starting to get a little bit of patchiness going on. And it's very, very itchy. Now it's getting itchy. But it's not too bad. On scale 1 to 10, I would say it's like a 4. It comes and goes. And my eyebrows are still... I'm loving them still. Even like a little patchy here and there. As you guys can see, it's really not that bad. And just this whole experience so far, it hasn't been bad. Some of the stories online are kind of scary. The way they do the dry method. I really don't like that way. Because of how it gets really scabby and funky looking i feel like this is the better way to do it the wet method like i said they're looking pretty good they're not looking horrible where you can't go outside the house we'll see how it goes continue going because like i said it's only the seventh day and i'm still really happy i'm not complaining i'm real real happy with them this is one of the best decisions i made when it comes to like taking care of yourself and doing things because my eyebrows were never the best when I was younger, yes. But as I got older, they started thinning out. And I was figuring, you know, I don't wear makeup. I don't know how to put makeup on, really, because of the fact I don't wear it. So when I tried to put makeup on, I would never touch my eyebrows. And everything would just look out of place and funny looking. So, so I tried to, like, not have the sun in my face. So yeah, I'll just keep you guys um, updated. I'll continue updating you on my microblading journey. And yeah, I say if you're thinking about doing it, really do your research. Like a lot of these girls say, find someone that listens to you, that knows what they're doing, that got great reviews. Just don't go into anybody because this is your face you're talking about. Um, she was explaining to me about how some people if they're heavy handed they they make more problems for the client than you know that would happen if they were actually just going light the way they're supposed to be doing it and like the only time she goes outside a brow area is if a client really wants it and that's something they're looking for or if a client needs an eyebrow because they don't have any or like a pencil eyebrow you know um but if you actually have a shape, just stay in the shape. And I feel like that's the best way. So when you're going through your um, process, it's not looking as crazy because you have your natural eyebrows. So it's just, you know, I'm saying there. So I thought um, that would be the best way. And I didn't want nothing too dramatic. So I just had her keep in my brow line. And that's what she su suggested anyway. So one last look we're looking pretty good i've been soaping them three times a day and put my ointment on them and just keeping them very clean and not really touching them too much because you know and um another thing when my eyebrows do itch i just go like this i'm not gonna do it now because i'm driving and my hands could be you know dirty just tap it never itching just a little poop poop because you know when you feel something you want to <laughs> so I just tap it. Doot, 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 doot. That's about it. All right, you guys. Have a wonderful day. And I will continue um, telling you about my experience. This is something I'm very happy about. So, Good morning. So, today is day eight <clears> of <throat> my microblading experience. So, I want to jump on here before I get ready for work and let you know 
I do see a lot of the patchiness now. I'm still really excited about my eyebrows. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, if I could get a close-up, it's right here. And then over here. So that means this is, I'm looking at it as more of an exciting journey because I'm getting closer to the finished product that I'm supposed to have. So this doesn't bother me at all. And like I said, because it's in my eyebrow line, it's like, whatever. I mean, if people notice, they notice. I'm not really worried about people staring at my eyebrow going, oh, why is it patchy? Because my shit is going to be on point that's why oh <laughs> but no i'm very excited and like i said i am getting a patchiness it is very itchy so at nighttime i try not to itch it while i'm sleeping but who knows what you're doing when you're sleeping right but i think i've been doing doing pretty good it's not too bad i'm also um continuing washing my eyebrows between three and four times a day also putting the ointment on there so yeah well actually i washed my eyebrows let me rephrase that i washed it twice in the morning and night with the soap that she gives me and then at least three times a day now with the little ointment that um she gave me to put on the eyebrow so i'm continuing doing the wet method and i believe that helped out tremendously not to go through the crazy um scabbing and building up she said we don't want any build up of scabs that's not what we're looking for flakiness is what we're looking for like a little dandruff in your eyebrow because that means the skin is healing so yes i have that i have the patching so i'm i'm a happy camper right now that means i'm a little bit closer to the finished product that's how i'm looking at it it's not a big deal so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying your day i will keep you posted i can't wait to put up this video to help you guys on your microblading journey and maybe you're just thinking about getting it and i say if you are thinking about it do it it's a great experience but before you do it make sure you find the right person because this is your face you're talking about i did like a week research of who's the best person that fits my needs in eugene oregon area and i found her i will put her information down below if you guys are in the same area thank you guys and continue watching all right so i skipped a couple days excuse me i'm chewing i'm eating some food before i go to work but i skip a couple days just because they're very like the same so today is the ninth day as you can see they are still a little patchy not bad at all i'm still feeling them even through the patchiness i don't know i'm liking it so I can't wait to continue sharing with you guys how they're looking. Um, I will probably check in in another couple days until, unless there's some dramatic change or something like that. Because my video is kind of long because I'm trying to really take you on the journey. So like I said, let me get a close up. It's not bad at all. So I'm excited. I'm very happy and yeah like i said i do not regret doing this at all and i will see how the journey continues i will let you guys know and i'm gonna finish scrubbing all right guys stay tuned to see the results good morning everybody so i want to jump on here really quickly i told you i would if um there's gonna be a little bit of difference so today is day 20 of my microblading um, healing journey. And what I did notice was that, um, hold on, let me just pour this. What I did notice, I well, the last couple of days, it's been flaky here and there, like a little dandruff, you know, um, with my eyebrows. Today I woke up and all my hair was very um, dandruffy, like my eyebrows. Like the skin was peeling, not peeling, but like shedding a little. So I don't know if it's just this whole area that is basically healing. And it seems like the color is coming back a little bit again. So I'm excited about that. But the whole deal so far was not a bad experience at all. Um, I'm very excited about it and I'll keep you guys posted 
All I did was I um, washed my eyebrows like normal. I washed right here. And then the ointment that she gave me, I put right here to keep it a little bit moisturized. So I don't have like a flaky um, forehead or whatever you call that. So, yeah, we don't want flakes there. So, um, but yeah, other than that, it just seems like the color is coming back a little bit to me, it looks like. And also, like I said, the flaking, it was more today than all the other days. I just cleaned it up with the water and soap, put the ointment on it, and we're looking good to go. Not bad at all. So I'm going to get ready for work. I'm going to drink my apple cider vinegar and then just have a good day. <laughs> you guys have a good one. I'll keep you updated as the days continue. Good morning. Good morning. So I want to jump on here really quickly um, before I start showering and getting ready for work and let you guys see today is day 24 and i definitely see a big difference this morning with um probably can't tell or yes you can tell it's starting to get very patchy towards the ends like the color is actually almost gone so that's the stage where i'm supposed to be going through like oh my god where'd it go on the paper so that's what i'm going through right now the flakiness is still there a little bit I see a lot of the color fading, which is a good thing because um, that means I'm close to the finish line. I would say with another week or so, um, I will be done with the process. I will keep you guys updated when the color starts coming back and letting you see how my eyebrows are turning out. But I still like them. You see all up in here and the color is disappearing. So that's a good thing. I'm not... You know, I'm still feeling my eyebrows. I'm still happy about the whole process. And I just can't wait to see the outcome. So I'm going to keep you guys updated. And I will let you guys go because I'm going to get ready for work. Stay blessed. Hey guys, so it's official. It's 30 days on my microbladed eyebrows. I'm very, very excited. Sorry about the lighting. But um, yeah, like I'm so happy. They're not that crazy dark i was a little nervous in the beginning when i first got them done because of how pale i am i asked her to give me a very natural natural look at my eyebrow because of the fact of i don't really wear makeup that much so as you can see i have no makeup on at all and they just look natural and that's what i was really looking for so when i do put makeup on if i ever really do to have time for it <laughs> then this a match because this always looked crazy when I try to do a little something like a little lip or like makeup or like a little lipstick or a little eyeliner or something like and then these bad boys were looking like help me <laughs> but anyway yeah I am so excited um I'm gonna be dropping Natalie's information down below on my video I also made a Facebook page if you guys would like to just join the community um I'll be sharing more experiences when I go get my six week checkup and you guys are more than welcome to join ask questions put your um experience up there if you would like to it's all about community so that's why I made that page and yeah I will drop all the links down below thank you guys so much for watching my video if you made it through the whole thing because I know it's kind of long but I really wanted to take you on the adventure you know um, if you get a close-up of my eyebrows, I'm very happy. They look very nice. They look very natural. I am going to go for the six-week touch-up. I'm going to see what she says. Uh, I don't know if I want to go darker. I don't think I need a touch-up, really. But just for her to check them out and see what she thinks, because she's the professional, and see what she says. I think they look great. I think they fit my face. They're not overwhelming my face with too much color. Um, one thing that you guys, this is like obviously common sense. I just didn't think of it when I got my eyebrows done. Yes, it's going to save you a lot of time. But you are going to still have to clean up your eyebrows like with the hairs that keep like grow, growing in. And it makes it easier because now you have an actual line to follow. So it's not like, oh, I don't have to touch my eyebrows for like two, three years, however long it lasts. Of course, you're going to have to clean up, um, pluck your own hairs or however you go and get your eyebrows done. 
just to clean it up because those hairs are going to continue growing, obviously. That's just something I didn't think about, which is not a big deal, but I want to throw that out there because as the month was going on, I noticed some hairs plucking through and uh, poking through, and I was like, oh, shoot, I got to do some work here. <laughs> but any, anyway, thank you guys so much. Namaste. God bless you all. And once again, I will drop the links on Natalie's place where she does her eyebrows. Um, my Facebook page if you'd like to come and join. And please, if you watch this video, it'll, it's very helpful if you can like and subscribe to help my channel grow. Because it's a smaller channel and just to get it out there more. Take care you guys and thank you once again so much.